it, folks. I don't know why it always feels like I'm waiting on somebody for something. Um, I was going to record earlier, uh, and I really didn't aim to do uh, anything today uh, in particular. Uh, but I thought I might play a little something, and so I I, I get tuned up and everything, and then uh, my wife calls and says, uh, of course, she works uh, where we live, so uh, at the apartment complex, and she says the uh, bug guy is going to come by and spray for bugs, so... Uh, generally, uh, I have to put the dogs up and all that, so, uh, you know, I'm waiting around, waiting around, and I see his truck down there, and uh, so I'm watching, and he gets in his truck and drives that way, so he hasn't been here yet, it's just preventive maintenance, it's not like we have bugs or, or anything like that, but, uh, you know, it just seems like, you know, this morning it was uh, the fire extinguisher people, uh, I had to meet him at the door, well, I was lucky to that I didn't have to let him in. Not that I have anything to hide, but, you know, I just, uh, you know, you don't really like to have a lot of people in your house all the time. And, you know, they've been, uh, going on the third day, they have yet to finish painting my shed, which I care less, really, if they ever paint my shed. But, uh, uh, nevertheless, um, you know, the fire extinguisher, which was just, uh, tagging it, making sure it's, uh, full and will actually put a fire out, you know. Hopefully I'll never need, need to use it, but, uh, um, you know, it's just, I'm always waiting on someone for something, it seems like, and, uh, you know, you don't see anyone or need anything, uh, you know, maintenance-wise or anything like that for, like, six months, and then all of a sudden, uh, uh, in one day, all this stuff has to happen, or whatever, well, two things, really, nothing really big, but. Anyways, I thought, well, you know, I'm waiting around. Keep looking out the window because I like to meet him at the door. Because if I don't, uh, if I don't meet him at the door, my dogs go haywire when I when someone knocks at the door. Like we do a lot of, uh, like sometimes we'll do, uh, uh, we'll order Chinese food or something like that or a pizza, and uh, you know, as soon as they show up, uh, I, I like to try to be at the door, meet him at the door with the with the, the cash or whatever, uh, that way I don't have to, to deal with the dogs barking at them and, and raising cane. So I got a little dust on my glasses there. Um, <coughs> but anyways, um, I really don't like to record anything without Brandy. Uh, you know, I promised that I would do some more music with her. And, uh, cause we have, you know, one song together on our channel on, um, you know, on YouTube, and, and, um, that song was, like, last summer sometime, so, uh, you know, I promised her that, uh, and I promised the viewers that, that we would do some more music and stuff like that, and, uh, but getting her, uh, you know, up here and, 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 and ready to sing and stuff like that is sometimes, uh, a little bit of a challenge, um, you know, she fell back in December, uh, December 30th or 31st, I want to, I think it was the 30th, uh, she missed like two and a half months of work, she, she fell down, uh, our stairs, and, uh, uh, hit her head on the, uh, tile at the bottom of the stairs, uh, I woke up, like, seven o'clock in the morning, found her down there, uh, she tripped over our dog, our little chihuahua, so I had to take her to the hospital, ER, uh, which led to, uh, a concussion, and she also had, uh, fractured her ankle, so she was in a cast for six weeks or so, so, you know, she gets home from work, and, you know, even now, uh, in June, she has, uh, bad headaches almost every day, uh, ankle still bothers her at times, but, uh, you know, she, she's always, uh, you know, needing to relax when she gets off work, so I don't want to, like, grab her and say, hey, let's go record some songs, and, Last time we tried to, uh, a couple weeks ago, we tried to record some stuff, and um, the vocals came out real distorted because we were playing, I was playing electric guitar, uh, singing through the mics, and our vocals just sounded like uh, like screamo music or something, and you, you couldn't make out what we were saying, so, uh, you know, we thought, no, well, next time we'll do acoustic, just acoustic, no mics, nothing like that, so, uh, 
you know, like I say, I hate to really record anything without her. This is a song that she usually sings, um, at least backing vocals on. But, um, you know, I thought, you know, I'm kind of bored. You know, I'm always up here in the room hanging out uh, a lot of times. And uh, a lot of times with me, it's just, uh, I like to just sit and just hold my guitar, you know. Dink around on a little bit and just kind of fiddle-faddle <coughs> and see what happens. Uh, so... But, uh, I'm going to do a song, make sure that no one is out there. Oh, all right. I think we're good. This is kind of a mini blog, uh, blog, a mini vlog, um, which, like I say all the time, uh, when I do, when I type in vlog on my uh, little tablet type deal, uh, it auto corrects it to, uh, or spell corrects it to blog. So, I, so a lot of times I'll say, uh, I'll type in video blog. Uh, but I've noticed on YouTube that it'll, I have the option to actually spell vlog now. So uh, that's a cool thing. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, Anyways, I, mean, I really wasn't going to do one. It's the third day, third day in a row that I've done uh, some type of vlog or video that I'm going to post, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm start my my views are starting to go up. Uh, you know, I'm actually getting into triple digits now, which is cool. I kind of watch things and they get you know, which you know, I'm a small time guy right now. Uh, not very many people know who I am or what I'm doing. You know, and I do the, the try to do the comedy stuff like that. Uh, which how I started out on YouTube was just uh, music and uh, posting some, you know, just playing guitar and singing. And then, I, you know, I decided to try to get into uh, comedy a little bit. And uh, and I might even do some stand-up comedy. I'm looking at doing some amateur nights and open mics here and there and stuff. So uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, that'll be in future vlogs and maybe in future videos and, and such. Uh, but working on... Uh, I'm writing jokes right now, working on stuff. Um, you know, I laid in bed last night for two hours or so and just thought of jokes and uh, even chuckled to myself a, a few times, And uh, which reminds me I need to write those things down uh, on, like, little cue cards or something so that uh, I can actually uh, remember them when I go to do my routine or whatever. I'll actually have jokes written down. So I thought of some pretty cool ones, and... Uh, they actually made me laugh to myself, which, uh, you know, a lot of times a person thinks that they're funnier than what other people do. You, you know, if you laugh at yourself, uh, you know, sometimes it's not always funny. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and play a little song for you. This song I wrote uh, probably last autumn uh, called uh, Loving Thing. I wrote it for... Uh, I just wrote it, you know. It's a good song. Uh, I thought it was a good song. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good, you know, the finished product or whatever, but I've not recorded it yet on anything. Just, uh, I think my little handheld, I've got a, like a rough draft recording of it. Uh, no videos of it or anything like that. And I'll probably record it again. I'm kind of sneaking it into my little vlog here, my little video, because, uh, you know, Brandy doesn't like me to really record much without her anymore. Um... Uh, not that she minds so much, but I think that, uh, you know, she feels like she might be left out a little bit. And, you know, I have a tendency to be a little selfish sometimes with uh, videos and music. And, um, like, I'll say, here's a song I wrote, and, uh, you know, it would be actually something that we were, we collaborated on together or wrote together. So, uh, <coughs> anyways, uh, a little something here in my throat. Hopefully it goes bye-bye. Uh, we're just going to cut into it. Uh, I think I'm all tuned up and everything. I'm capo, first fret, like a pro. Rocking it, smashing it. Uh, it's called Love and Thing. I hope I get the words right. Uh, I don't uh, practice this song very often, but we play. Uh, when we play out, I always play this song. So, uh, here it goes. Hold your breath, everyone. Cross your fingers. It's going to be great.
I guess a kind of like anticipation. Actually, my pick was sliding out of my fingers, so I generally use picks that have little grippy things on them. And uh, these are the Fender. These go back in the day. Uh, I use the multicolored, what I call, uh, kind of looks like a cow pattern, and uh, they get slick. I don't know. Uh, they slide around. So I, 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 for a while, I was using these picks that had little grips on them and stuff, and uh, because I've always had that problem with picks falling out of my uh, my fingers and stuff, and I've thrown them and, and lost them on stage and things like that, so uh, <coughs> anyways, that's love and thing, and uh, like I said, I'll probably do it again with Brandy, uh, just, you know, a video of that song with her singing on it, probably just acoustic, so, you know, you kind of get the, the idea or the gist of the song, uh, <coughs> you know, and it kind of... Uh, goes along with, uh, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, I, I try to be a serious songwriter and musician as well as, uh, you know, doing the, the funny, goofy comedy stuff and everything. So, uh, you know, that's just kind of the way I am. I, uh, I have a lot of layers, a lot of parts and sides to me and things like that, and a lot of interest and hobbies and, uh, and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I enjoy, just enjoy life and, uh, doing things, and, uh, you know, as long as I have an outlet like YouTube or, or even social media to, to put my stuff out there, you know, when you can't, uh, you know, you can't make it into a recording studio or whatever, then you can always, uh, you know, put stuff on YouTube and kind of get feedback or whatever, and, uh, you know, I like that, I like that part of it, and, uh, you know, I've got a lot of other songs and stuff like that and, and things. And then it also, uh, you know, my attempts at uh, comedy, you know, whether they go well or not, you know, it doesn't really matter because, you know, I'm not out to become rich and famous. I just do what I do. It makes me laugh. It makes other people laugh. And, and I enjoy that. I enjoy making people laugh. So, uh you know, or even just smile a little bit, just have a little bit happier day than what maybe they could have had or whatever. So, you know, that's what these vlogs are for and these little funny videos and stuff. Um, you know, they're goofy, they're immature a lot of times. Um, you know, they are what they are. I'm just, um, I'm just having fun and uh, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy... Uh, every aspect of, I'm addicted to film and stuff and video and I can't wait to get really nice equipment and cameras and whatnot and uh, you know and be able to uh, to do things like that and uh, just have fun with it and you know whether whether I have uh, the six subscribers that I have now or 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 six thousand I you know I don't care uh, 
you know, one subscriber, you know, that's fine. But I'm starting to get views, like I said, and, uh, you know, it could be one person uh, watching the video, like maybe in a stalker way, a hundred times. I don't know. But that's even fine. I don't care. Uh, as long as they don't come to my house with, uh, like, duct tape or something. I guess I'm cool. But, uh, anyways, um, you know. Uh, that's kind of about the size of uh, of everything that I have for you, song-wise. So, you know. Oh. That was interesting. Look, I took my zoom and like maximized it. That was really interesting. I dropped it. Wow. Hope that never happens again. Uh, that's how I broke my laptop. I dropped it on the floor. It fell off my lap. Yeah, the screen went white. Not cool. Second one in two years. Actually, the third one in three years. Uh, broke one when we lived in Peru. This is the second one I broke since we've lived in Lafayette. So... Uh, Anyways, I just want to give a shout out to uh, people that have been watching my videos and, uh, you know, whether you've subscribed to my channel or not, you're watching my videos, that's cool. I love it. Man, I want more of it. Uh, I enjoy making them. Uh, you know, I don't have a really, really probably interesting life. Uh, you know, I, I just kind of, you know... I just kind of have fun and then do things, uh, you know, my own way and uh, work for myself and, uh, you know, try to make uh, ends meet here and there and, you know, kind of, I've got, you know, maybe some opportunities to make some money uh, playing music and playing out and stuff like that and uh, doing small shows. So, you know, Brandy and I probably take advantage of that and then I'm just thinking maybe if I could break into uh, comedy a little bit. And, you know, uh, do some stuff on YouTube. And, uh, and I'm seeing guys, uh, not that I expect to get there anytime soon, but they're doing, uh, they're driving around in Ferraris and they have 4 million subscribers. And, uh, you know, I, one particular fella, I guess he's a gamer or something, but, uh, kind of, dude probably weighs like 500 pounds. He's got uh, a red Abraham Lincoln beard. And uh, talking about gaming and stuff, and he's got three million subscribers. And his his video yesterday was like two days old and had sixty thousand views on it. And so maybe I'm in the wrong racket. Uh, you know, I, I don't understand. I guess I'm not a gamer, so I don't know. I mean, these guys play like uh, Halo and like Call of Duty online, and they've got the headsets on and. Uh, you know, they're talking to each other online and stuff. And I don't think that I even played Pong when I was younger. Uh, never had any video games or really anything like that. Uh, my kids have video games and stuff, but, uh, you know, I don't mess with them. I really don't. Uh, I think Grand Theft Auto is the only game I really enjoy. Maybe some of the, like, uh, off-road dirt bike games and stuff like that. Need for Speed is pretty cool. I have played that. Uh, 
other than that, I really just, I'm not very big on on video games or whatever. I, I'll put a guitar in my hand or uh, you know something like that, or read a book. You know, uh, if I see well enough to read a book, uh, depends. I have good and bad days with my vision, so you know that's uh, how it is, I guess. But uh, anyways, I always found more productive things to do. Like, you know, a lot of people my age. Uh, no, growing up, we were outside playing, riding our bikes, or, or playing uh, army or whatever. We were very seldom inside unless it was raining out, and even a lot of times we played in the rain. So, uh, um, you know, sign of the times, I guess. Uh, we didn't grow up in the electronic age like uh, you know the kids nowadays. Uh, everything, you know, uh, like for instance, I brought my uh, brought my phone up here with me and. Uh, this is the regular old home phone. Uh, it's changed a little bit. This is a, a VTech we bought from a, a box store chain. Right, I'm not going to shout out to them. They don't need any advertisement. Uh, we did away with our cell phones. And uh, what it was a couple of years ago, you know, uh, I found myself constantly, while well, we went out for an anniversary dinner, uh, Brandy and I did, and I was on my smartphone. Uh, wasn't really. You know, it wasn't like I was texting or chatting or doing anything like that. I was just, uh, you know, looking at Facebook and uh, things like that. And uh, she was on her phone doing the same thing. And we had similar phones. So um, I think that the most interaction we had that night was taking pictures of one another sitting there at, at dinner. And, you know, I realized I'm missing out on things because uh, I'm on my phone and, you know, at the same time, there's things going on, and I'm sitting across from my wife, and I'm, it's our anniversary dinner, and, uh, you know, it's just not cool. So, you know, uh, my my goal was to downsize. We, we ended up getting, like, uh, oh, one of those, uh, I guess, pay for your minutes as you go phone. Uh, so we were buying, like, monthly minutes or whatever, but I would still have minutes left over at the end of the month, and I kept getting, uh, you know, they would give me, send me a, a text message saying uh, you need to renew your minutes or whatever. What what it was is the, the minutes don't carry over. So they were just trying to get me to buy minutes. I didn't have a contract with them or nothing like that. So they're like, uh, you know, your service will end in two days if you don't go, you know, update your pay card or your minutes or whatever. And I already, I would still have like uh, tons of minutes left on my phone because I barely used it. So it just... It kind of ticked me off, so <coughs> eventually it got to where we were just using the, the darn thing uh, for an alarm clock to wake us up in the morning. So, And I still kind of do that. So, uh, anyways, and back to the home phone. So I carried it around from room to room. Uh, like I can hear it ring or whatever. And, uh, you know, it's just a, a little bit simpler. No more cell phones. Uh, She's got her Kindle Fire. I had the laptop, which I broke. Now I have this tablet. Uh, and so I'm using it and everything, but uh, I don't miss my cell phone whatsoever. And, and, and safety is another feature because, uh, you know, it's another plus to it because uh, we're not uh, in the car uh, when a phone rings or, you know, uh, we're not, you know, no one's sending us a text or anything like that. I mean, it's kind of old school. If we have car trouble. I guess we'll go somewhere where there's a, a phone or, or something and call somebody. I think we're going to get probably track phones or a, a track phone to keep in the car when we travel and things like that. But uh, right now I'm generally home pretty much a lot, uh, you know, and uh, so, and she works, but maybe 200 yards away. So, I mean, I, I walk to her office within five minutes, so, uh, you know. If either one of us needs each other, we know where we're at at all times. And, uh, uh, you know, like I say, I'm always home. The evenings were always home. So, uh, you know, you just, the regular old home phone. We did Skype for a while where I was Skyping people from the computer. And uh, they couldn't call me back. So if they didn't have Skype, you know, they couldn't call me back. So, and my, my area code was like a... 316 or 360 or something like that so a lot of people would be freaked out by by the area code and the number thinking it was a telemarketer or something like that but uh, nope it was me 
Uh, so, you know, man, I'm not even doing Skype anymore, so I've just got a home phone, and uh, I'm lucky because telemarketers don't have my number yet, so when they do, I'm going to have some fun with them, and hopefully I'll have my uh, camera ready so I can uh, video record. A lot of guys have done uh, pranks, you know, telemarketer pranks and stuff like that, so, uh, you know, maybe I'll go that route a little bit, uh, waiting on them to... Eventually, they will get your phone number, and you can call and have your, your number blocked from them or whatever, but uh, it, it seems like it doesn't really work out that way, that they still they still manage to get your phone number, and they still manage to call and and, uh, and try to give you all their goodness, and I'm just going to give it right back to them this time. Uh, you know, I've learned some things over the years. I've learned some things from other, uh, other people uh, that, you know, enjoy harassing telemarketers back so you know I'm going to get into that a little bit myself I think um, generally they'll probably hang up knowing them uh, most of them don't have uh, much in the way of a backbone and uh, once you get one over on them they'll cave so there you have it anyways I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this here uh, vlog video music session thing from the music room and I'm going to wait on the uh, bug guy to come by and uh, do some preventive spider maintenance and uh, hopefully he comes by here pretty quick and I'm going to go grab a snack and refill my soda pop and I uh, wish I should drink more tea and water less coffee and soda pop I know but uh, what are you going to do I, I don't do anything else I have any other ridiculous habits uh, uh other than caffeine. So, uh, anyways, peace out. Remember my motto, laugh more, hate less. Uh, there you have it. Uh, until next time, uh, it's my third day in a row of vlogging. Who would have thought? Uh, finally getting up into the triple digits on my vlog, which is pretty cool. I mean, the first couple of vlogs I did, like 40 views. I mean, you know, uh, you know, 20 of those could be by accident. I don't know. People accidentally click on them. But I'm starting to get up into the triple digits. Uh, usually takes a day or so. Um, I'll be glad when... It'd be, you know, kind of cool if, if I can ever get to a point where, uh, you know, I wake up one morning and the vlog I posted the night before has, uh, you know, a thousand views or something like that. And I've picked up ten subscribers or something. That, that would be pretty cool. But uh, if that doesn't happen, oh well. I still enjoy what I'm doing. Uh... You know, I get to relieve some of the boredom that I have uh, on a daily basis and kind of spread my uh, own confusion and chaos on other people. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. Anyways, peace out. Love you all, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye now. Right on. Peace.